And a popular convenience store at 11th and South Utica in Tulsa are clashing with Planet Tulsa's future plans for the area. Tonight, City Council voted to move forward with the project. Two news reporter Sarah Goldenberg joins us now live from City Hall with the latest on that. Sarah? Russ, it was a close one tonight. Council voted 5 to 4 for a rezoning application that would allow Quick Trick to expand at that intersection. Now, this conversation lasted four hours and it really had residents fired up. Now, Quick Trip actually wants to build a whole new store at that intersection. In order to do that, the company requested to shut down East 10th Street from South Utica Ave, and that passed tonight. Quick Trip cites issues with panhandling, drug use, and prostitution as reasons for the renovation. Those against the plans question why a private corporation could have the right to shut down a public road. They took issue with interrupting residential traffic and emergency vehicle access. And many say it goes against the Plan of Tulsa small area plan for the future, which is more pedestrian friendly. It would be uh, really, uh, really bad to, to tell all those thousands of people who participated that their voice didn't matter and uh, all their work was for nothing. Now any company who wants to can just ignore that plan. I think that's just really cynical. It would be good for the hospital, it would be good for the rehab center across the street. Uh, the neighbors that travel along Route 66 through 11th Street, uh, it would be an excellent thing. Now, those opposed to the store expansion say they're not opposed to Quick Trip, just the plan itself. The civil engineer of the Quick Trip project says they made modifications to the plan after consulting with the city. Many city councilors were split on the issue, saying they're not against the company expanding, but they understand the, the residents' concerns. Now, this Quick Trip is supposed to be open, the new location, in about 24 weeks, and the current location is going to remain open during that time. Live in downtown Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, two news works for you.